In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use GIMP to create a digital photo frame. Uh, if you're looking to print this, go ahead and check out the link below. There is a printing solution, an affordable one at that, um, that you can do online that can really turn these uh, photo frames into really nice, you know, birthday cards or um, Valentine's Day cards, other things like that. So check out the tutorial, then check out that link below, and um, enjoy. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a pattern. Um, I just happened to pick this pattern. I found it on DeviantArt under the uh, open stock items section. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this so that it is a white on black uh, image. That way I can use it for my overlay later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click colors to saturate to get rid of all color. And once I do that, I'm going to then click on colors, levels, and I'm going to increase the white until it's all white or all black and decrease this down until it's completely like that and click OK. Now that's the first thing we're going to do. After Now what we're going to do next is we're going to take this and we're going to use it for a pattern for our border. Okay so now that we have our pattern made what we're going to do is we're going to click edit select or select all and then click edit copy and we're going to copy that to our clipboard and save it for later. So now we're going to go ahead and use that pattern in our border on a new file. So click File New and set the size to inches and we'll make it 4x4 four four, so it's a, a nice size print if you were to ever print it out. And we'll set the resolution to a minimum of 300 pixels an inch. That's very important to make sure to set that otherwise whenever you print this later it's going to look blurry and really bad. So hit OK. And here is our new file. It's square. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this entire layer with a color whatever color we want our border to be. Don't worry about the middle part because the photo is going to cover that up anyway. So now click select all, right click over here and click new layer, set it to transparency and click OK. Now click select, shrink, shrink it by uh, maybe 5 sixteenths of an inch, hit OK. So now Set your color, foreground color to white. Set your gradient. I click on your blend tool. Set the gradient to foreground to background, or foreground to transparent, I'm sorry. Set the shape to bilinear. And make sure that you click select invert so that you're selecting the border, not the inside. Now click in the middle area up at the top, holding control to lock your angle of your gradient, and just make it go down to the bottom of the selection and release and repeat that process for all four sides. What you're doing here is you're creating a highlight in the middle to kind of make the border look like it's round, give it a more uh, 3D look. Now we're going to click mode and set the mode to overlay. And what that's going to do is it's going to make that part a brighter blue color and that'll, like I said, make it look round. So now we're going to right click and we're going to click new layer and actually, no, we don't need to do that. Click Select, None. And now that you've got your highlights and everything ready, we're going to go ahead and add the pattern. Something very important that I forgot to mention earlier was whenever you click Select All, and you have your complete border here, and then you click Select Shrink, shrink it by whatever your other size was. In my case, it was 3 sixteenths. Click OK, and that'll create your shrink there. If you click Image, guides, new guides from selection, that'll turn your selection into four guides which is perfect for what we need to do next. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy our pattern, paste it into here, right click and click new layer, and I'm just going to scale this up to fit in this border. Um, you don't necessarily have to do it this way, you could find a bigger image and probably just crop it down to fit and that would actually probably create a better result than this. But for the sake of this tutorial, I just went ahead and did this. Now click Scale. Now set the layer mode to Overlay. Alright, so everything looks really nice except for the fact that obviously the image isn't in the middle. So we're going to go ahead and drop an image in there. And I happen to have an image open right here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to crop this down to a square shape first. And to do that, all you have to do is click on your crop tool, 
check the fixed box and set the thing to aspect ratio and set it to 1 to 1 so that whenever you crop it it's going to stay a perfect square no matter what. And just kind of get a good composition out of your photo and click enter and that will crop your image down into a square. So now just click select all, click edit copy, switch over to here and click edit paste. It's going to create a floating selection just right click on that and click new layer. Now click on your move tool and move the top left corner of that image to snap to that guide that you had previously created. And now all you have to do is click on your scale tool, scale it down, and scale that bottom right corner to fit onto your guide on the bottom right side. And what that'll do is that will center your image and it will also make it fit inside of your frame very nicely.